Fire it up. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Heavy Wrench. I'm excited to have you at the channel, and if you've subscribed already, you are one of the thousand subscribers that I have now. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. That was a realist, really a like crazy far-fetched thing that I would have a thousand subscribers. So thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, let you know when I got some more content coming out. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a special tool that I made a long time ago. Now, that being said, this special tool has helped me in a lot of different situations for a lot of different things. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. Let me grab it real quick. This is my wrench extender, large wrench extender. If you can see it, it's basically a piece of half inch bar with a couple of pieces of three eighths bar welded to it. Now this hook design allows me to set a wrench in it. Grab my wrench here. Now the 50 millimeter fits in it pretty darn good. This is a John Deere 50 millimeter. There is a slight issue with the offset on the box end that I just had an issue with. As you can see, the it has to be away from that flat bar. Haven't really, that's one of the flaws in the design, but no big deal. We just had to flip the wrench over a little bit. So sometimes it doesn't work perfect, but for the open end, but on the box end, it does work in both situations. Just flip it over, clips in. Now you do have to flip the wrench to get the right pressure for the right way you're turning the direction of the fastener, but it does work well. So I will put a complete length, height, width description in the link below so you can check that out. All right guys, so instead of doing it in my description below, I figured I'd just give you this. It's about 44 and a half long. From edge to edge is about 10 and an eighth, it looks like. The bar width is two inches wide. We're two inches wide on that. Little tab as well. They are three quarters of an inch, the way it looks here. Confirm that. Three quarters of an inch wide for the opening. The tabs are two inches long. Both of them are the same, three quarter width. I think that will get you, uh, get you what you need to make one. If you do, again, about 10 and eight, the way it looks, outside to outside, two inches wide, two inches wide, two inches, three quarters of an inch spacing on there, inside that. So if you guys wanna make one, like I said, a couple of guys that I was working with at the time, we made these together and uh, I've been using it for a long time. It's been a great tool, great extender. And there's a small one again, just to go over that one. It's actually pretty nice. I like this one a lot. I think it's gonna work well, that half inch drive. There's the part number again, so yeah. Hit like if you like it, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So, this one here is the 50 millimeter wrench that fits very good. Now, if you're just starting out, you don't have that 50 millimeter wrench, let's say all you got is this adjustable. This is a master hand 15 inch just uh, don't even know where I picked it up, but it's an adjustable. It also fits in to my wrench extender. So very versatile, very good. This is the 18 inch blue point. Fits in that wrench extender. So working on the heavy iron, a lot of times you'll use a chain wrench. Now, this is a chain wrench. We're not gonna say what brand because 
brand unspecified for uh, reasons unknown, but to check this out, it fits in the chain wrench too. Hydraulic cylinders have sometimes have a rounded gland on the, on the head of the cylinder and you gotta get on there with something to spin it off. Sometimes the spanner wrenches aren't working or somebody's using an air hammer or a chisel to take them off and this chain wrench will help you bite it. This wrench extender will help you keep it moving or get it moving to begin with. So the other thing I wanted to show you, get this chain wrench wrapped up. Now, this is a big wrench extender and it's about two inches wide. So this is a three quarter wrench. Let's say I wanna use the box end of it and get this big thing on it. I can always set it in there pretty tight, but it does work if you really need to get that small. Now, anything shorter than this three quarter snap on will not work in this wrench extender. So I was uh, talking to a guy that comes to the shop here from K tool or uh, one of the companies I'd have to, I can link his information in the description below too, but <clears throat> he had a, very similar thing that I was excited about was K Tool has what they call a universal wrench extender adapter. Okay, it is KTI 49403. 49403. KTI 49403. Let's get that in the in there in the video so you can see it. This is the package it comes in. I opened it. It has the two loops, just like my wrench extender does. They're a little different because they're bent and not welded and squared off, but I don't see an issue with that. It looks fairly solid. It looks like it's one piece design. So this three quarter wrench that I had to use the big wrench extender on before, now I can either put another wrench on here or I can put a breaker bar or a ratchet in the half inch drive. So pretty cool tool that I picked up recently. I think it was under, I don't know if it was 30 bucks, 35 bucks, 40 bucks, but it wasn't super expensive. Um, thinking about making a shorter one for myself. And I'm like, well, by the time I put all that time into it, it, I'll just spend the money on this quick and see if it works. If it does work, I could always weld a bar to it and make it just like mine. So that being said, this is a pretty cool tool that I picked up recently. And that's what I got for you today. It's a short video, just wanted to put it out there. I should probably uh, thank you again. I appreciate everybody that subscribed. It's amazing the reaction I've been getting and the feedback I've been getting from everybody. Uh, the comments in the description below have been nothing but supportive for anybody looking to get into this industry. Uh, this is the type of content I'm going to start putting out more of is things that you need throughout your career. Maybe that I wish I would have known before, you know, I had one guy comment. I wish I would have had this video when I was first starting out, when I did my tools, you need to start working on heavy equipment video. And it's so true. You know, that's what this channel is about is trying to get more people interested in the, in the, um, industry and bettering ourselves. I mean, we have so much talent out there that's untapped and unshared. You know, everybody tries really to keep this held close to them. And, and I think that's a big fault of us, uh, of us as technicians, mechanics, wrenches, whatever you want to call us. We are, uh, we are really a dying breed. And I, I think it's just because it's unknown how great of a field it is and how great of a profession it can be. If you really enjoy working on iron and, construction equipment, this really is the place for you. Um, I couldn't be happier with the choice that I made to get into this. Uh, back in my life, I had some serious options that I could have went, you know, I had, uh, I had some scholarship offers from schools to play football, to wrestle, and uh, I chose the path of heavy equipment and it wasn't one of the schools that offered me a uh, scholarship to go to them. And I couldn't, I couldn't say I've been happier with my choice ever since. 
This has been a great industry. I've met some great people along the way. I'm meeting way more great people now than I ever have. So thanks again. Have a great day and keep that iron moving.